I just can't deal with this shit today, girl. I just can't deal. <laughs> As you seen by my cup, I can't adult today. Anyway, hey, what's up, my social climbing friends? It's Dustin, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to be talking about Huda Beauty and John Cookian. Now, you might wonder why these two would be connected, and I'm going to tell you why here in just a second. But there is something that I really want to talk about for a minute. Have you guys seen John Cookie in Snapchat where he said that he has someone that has used his affiliate links and earned over $4,000 in the past month? <laughs> that is not correct. No shade, but if you have bought John Cookie in cosmetics, please leave me a comment if you use someone's affiliate code and how much you spent because that is the real tea. I want to know about that. And I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance. My neighbors decided that it would be a good day for them to mow their lawn and they're outside cutting their grass and my dogs are barking. I'm going to try to tune all this stuff out, but if you can't get with that, I understand. I am a hillbilly queen after all. I have people with dogs and I have lawn mowers and all kinds of shit going on around my house, so I'm sorry. I just can't deal with it, girl. I cannot deal with it. So the other day, I was sent this little tidbit of information from someone on Twitter, and it was Huda Beauty's sister snapping where John Cookie and sent her all of the PR from his, like, liquid Drano lip collection, and I was like... Why is this dude sending out all this shit to all these different people that like really are in a totally different league from him? Like, really, girl, look at this snap. Ian, who just launched his very first liquid lipstick collection, and I'm so excited to try it. Look at this packaging, it's so cute, and I love the colors, it's so beautiful. And thank you, John, for all the chocolate and the tea. He's famous for spilling the tea. Like, girl, you are really, really thirsty for attention. Like, first it was Jared Blandino with Too Faced, and now you're trying to social climb Huda Beauty. And you guys, there's a difference between that kind of social climbing and my social climbers because we're like bunny social climbers. Like, we're not really trying to get ahead with anything that we do. Like, we're just here chilling, kikiing with the girls and everything. And he's over here trying to social climb like real beauty brands, like real brands that like actually have makeup in stores and shit while he's just somewhere over there in his kitchen making cosmetics. Like, this is my kitchen. I don't think that they would really want to be associated with you, but lo and behold, here we go. Who the beauty sister snapped this out? I'm like, why, girl? Why? And he's over here complaining because he can't get like an Amazon Prime membership to watch videos. Does that really make sense to you guys? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Now that we've discussed that asshole, I really wanna get into the serious part of this video. For you guys that may not know about Huda Beauty, the other day she posted this picture on Instagram, and at first glance you might think, oh, that might be a little bit cute, da 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 da, but no, girl, it's not. Huda Beauty has a history of doing blackface, and not only blackface, but she also has a history of not including male MUAs, not including people of color in her cosmetic programs and campaigns and things like that. So. So I want to show you guys what her Instagram looks like. Take a look at these two videos. I'm going to show you the Huda Beauty, Shop Huda Beauty Instagram, and I'm going to show you Huda Katan's Instagram. Now, it could just be me, but I think that she is not really showcasing a, a very diverse group of people on her Instagram or in her product campaigns. Even Manny MUA spoke out about it. You guys, look in his last video where he was talking about Huda Beauty and the foundation. Faux Filter High Coverage Cream Foundation. And if you guys don't know, Huda Beauty is a... She was like on Instagram, she was a beauty blogger first. She created her own makeup line, and now she has an entire makeup line called Huda Beauty, of course. And this is one of her products in it, which is super, super cool. I'm not even trying to be shady or anything like that. This is 
is just like a random side note. I tend to not use Huda Beauty that often because I don't feel like on her brand page or in general with her brand, I don't see a lot of support in the male beauty community. I don't see a lot of like posting men on her Instagram as I see a lot of other brands doing it. It's just something I notice. So I notice these kinds of things and I notice when brands do not post boys and I notice when a brand is very, very conservative with their promotions. And I do get it. Like I do understand that buying makeup is much more of a women's niche than it is for men. Men do it too and it does feel kind of shitty when a brand doesn't support that or your brand doesn't acknowledge it, you know? And I do get sent Huda Beauty products and a lot of her stuff is really, really, really nice but it is just something I've always noticed and I'm not trying to shade her in any way, shape or form. And you know, maybe because she does have a big Middle Eastern following, she doesn't want me to get hate on her pages or anything or something like that, I don't fucking know. So I tend to like not use her products as much because I just don't see as much love back in the male beauty community. Like girl, it's 2018, like, why are we not being inclusive? Why are we not showcasing all colors, creeds, and different forms of people and their cultures? Like, this girl has a very, very big following on Instagram. I think she has like 24 million followers. And this is how she promotes her brand. And from what I've seen, most of her brand promotion and stuff is her actually doing these things and like making things with her face, like doing makeup in different ways, which is great. I think it's really cool that she's hands on with her brand. But at the end of the day like girl why are you like painting your face half white and half black like what were you trying to say with that why couldn't you have a person of color if you were going to showcase the power of your foundation and what it could do and the things that it could cover up why are you not using these people of these different ethnicities and actually different like genders like men to use your products and get your point across that way you don't have to paint your face half black and half white to showcase just what your foundation can do. There's no doubt that I think that your foundation is good because I've seen some really raving reviews about it, like awesome reviews. There's a whole bunch of them here on YouTube. But the fact that you try to go against the grain and that you want to use yourself, like I said, that's a cool idea, but while you're using yourself and promoting your brand and you're the face of your brand, why can't you use people of different skin colors in yourself? like? It makes no sense and the fact like I'm not really gonna try to harp on the blackface thing because I do believe it's blackface and for you guys that don't uh, know the whole tea about that like there's a whole reddit thread I'll link it in the description box of this video these people are like really tearing her ass to shreds rightfully so rightfully so like but I'm really offended that not only she did the blackface thing that was like no ma'am no ma'am we need to stop you right there but her lack of inclusivity of like male MUAs. There are so many male MUAs now that are doing so well and the fact that she wouldn't even like from a business standpoint want to cash in on that. I don't know what's holding her back from that. A lot of people are saying it's her religion. I don't really know that much about religion other than Christianity and I think we're all supposed to love one another anyway. Like even at the core of who you are, I think that we're supposed to love one another for who we are and I'm just not getting that from this. So please, if there's a religion thing that may like encompass this, I don't know of any religions that would like prohibit her from like including like people of color, but I could kind of get where she's going with that with maybe the religion thing and the male MUA aspect of it. But then again, she's a national like internationally known brand i don't think that's good for business but like honestly i've said it before like in my video about pewdiepie like if you have some reservations about people or if you want to be a piece of shit and just like do what you want to do that's fine you could do that but at least own who you are own what you believe so people can like you for being the piece of shit that you are or people can like not like you and know the real you because there's just so much going on with this i really want to dive a little bit deeper into it and do a little bit more research because this is a really interesting topic to me like i don't really know too much about makeup like i'm gonna be completely honest with you on that like I love makeup. I love watching people that do makeup. I, I watch all the big gurus. I watch a lot of small beauty gurus. And for it to be the beauty community, there's a lot of stuff lacking that would actually make it a beautiful community, if that makes sense. There's just so much opportunity. And I believe even at the best that you could possibly do, there's always more opportunity to push yourself and do more with your brand and things like that. But I want you guys to let me know what you think down below. Do you think how Huda operates her business is like good for business? Do you think that she's doing things like this because it's her belief system 
what do you guys think about that? Because I'm really like at a loss for it. Like I'm going to continue to read about it. I may actually make like a real serious video about this, but I really want to know what you, my subscribers think about this because I know a lot of you are women and I know a lot of you buy makeup. That's a lot. <laughs> a lot of the reason why some of you guys watch me because I talk a lot about the beauty community. I'm not so much reserved for the beauty community. It's just actually what I watch. I don't wear makeup, but it's really interesting to me. It's like relaxing to watch people apply makeup and do different looks and things like that. So you guys, let me know what you think down below. If there's anything that you would like me to talk about, you can also leave that down below because I'm going to start trying to make videos every day again. Don't hold me to it. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to definitely try my best. But I hope you guys have a beautiful Saturday and I will see you on my next video. Bye.